Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are going to talk all about traveling and teaching STEM. So let's dive in. So my first year teaching STEM, I was on a cart. I did not have my own classroom and I had to push all of my items around from a wheeling cart. Luckily it was a pretty big cart so I was able to put some stuff on it but it was a bit tricky. So I'm here today to give you some of my tips on how you can teach STEM from a cart or from a traveling uh, space. So the first tip is going to be to use bins. I unboxed any items that I had that came in packaging. I took any cardboard away because it ends up ripping and I put them all in small bins. This is a great way to stay organized and it's going to be easy for you to put it back on a cart and take it right off. I would put everything into six bins and because I had six tables in my classroom and I was able to just stack them up and quickly put one item on each bin. I suggest using reusable materials and that is my tip number two. Reusable materials are great because you can build and you can do so much with them but they're going to be easy for you to clean up and transport. So something like Lego, wooden blocks, plus plus blocks, magnet builders, those are great STEM tools that you can quickly clean up and put away. You can prepare it before you start going around for the day and it'll be really easy for you just to sort them out in each room. Another tip is just going to be to simplify your challenges. You might not be able to do long-term projects and don't be upset if you can't do this really magnificent building. Because you're on a cart, you're going to want to do kind of same day, same time uh, challenges. So start small, start simple, so that your students can still experience the whole design process and thinking, but they can still get it done in the small amount of time. And if you are moving around, you might have more of a difficult time storing projects. So unless the classroom teacher or wherever the space is, gives you some options, it might be easier to just have students build, take it apart, and then start good fresh the next time. Another tip I have from you is don't be afraid to decorate your cart. A good idea is to take any kind of posters you might already have on your computer and print them out in a smaller size. You can print them through your computer and you can just click on print settings and make the size a bit smaller so that more posters print on one page. You can cut them out and you can tape them around your cart and that'll give a fun look to everything so that your students know that you're coming and you're ready to teach STEM and that they're in for a great period. Another tip is to have an easy management strategy. Since you're on a cart, you might not be able to really set up a whole environment in your classroom. So try doing something like a super thinker of the day. That is what I do. I will choose one student at the end of each class period who is my super thinker. They get a stamp on their hand and they get an award and the students love receiving that. They all work really quietly. I also collect group points, so that's something you can do and it'll be easy to manage. You can have a notebook or a book or even use your phone to just dot, jot down which group did a great job and earned some points for the day. This will help you keep track of everything in a simplified way, but still have positive classroom management for your students. Being on a cart can be very frustrating at times, but it's going to be all right and you're going to still be able to shine and provide your kids so much learning. I spent um, about a year and a half on a cart and it was rough, but it worked out just fine. Looking back, I feel like everything was still awesome. We worked hard, the students did well. So don't be discouraged, keep on trying and bring your own vibe and your fun to your cart. Good luck, let me know if you need anything and I will see you next time.